The Detroit Red Wings have a long history of drafting and developing some of the greatest Swedish hockey players in NHL history. Whether it's one of the best defensemen of all time, Nicholas Lidstrom, incredible two-way forward, Henrik Zetterberg, hard-hitting D-man, Nicholas Cronwall, or some other wingers like Thomas Holmstrom or Johan Franzen. All of these guys helped the Wings win at least one Stanley Cup. And now, in 2022, Detroit is loading their team up yet again with plenty more potential future star suites. One of the key guys being Lucas Raymond, their 2020 first-round pick, fourth overall, who is currently tied for first in rookie scoring. You also have Simon Edvinson, the team's 2021 first-round pick, sixth overall, who is currently playing in the SHL this season. There are quite a few other Swedes in the system as well, but right now another one of the most intriguing prospects is currently playing on the same team in the SHL as Edvinson for Lunda. And of course, I'm talking about the 6'8", 250-pound winger, Elmer Soderblom. Soderblom was taken in the 2019 draft, but much later, in the 6th round, 159th overall. And after lighting up the junior level of Swedish hockey in 2019-20, and then getting his feet wet in the SHL in 28 games last year for Falunda, this year has been his true breakout season. And his 18 goals and 26 points in 39 games certainly has Red Wings fans excited for what he could potentially bring to North America as soon as next year. His 18 goals currently lead his team, with the next closest having 10. Super impressive for a 20-year-old in that league. And it's even good enough for a tie for 5th in SHL goal scoring. And, among all under 21 players, he is not only the leader in goals, but also points in general with his 26. And, funny enough, the second U21 scorer is also a Wings prospect, defenseman Albert Johansson, who was taken in the 2nd round also in the 2019 draft. And the 3rd leading scorer for that age range is another pretty solid prospect, Noel Gunler the 20-year-old who was drafted by Carolina in 2020 in round 2, 41st overall. So, as you can tell, Soderblom is having an excellent season by all accounts and is looking like a pretty big deal for the Red Wings, especially given how they picked him in the 6th round. This guy will also come to Detroit with some already built-in chemistry with a few of his teammates, including Lucas Raymond, who also played for Forlunda last season, and Simon Edvinson, who, like I mentioned earlier, is also playing with Forlunda this year. And for what it's worth, yet another prospect in the wing system, Theodore Niederbach, has also played with Soderblom each of the last two seasons in Forlunda. Niederbach was drafted in 2020 as a second round pick. So, can Elmer's game translate into the North American game and specifically the NHL? I certainly believe that it can and will. Most seem to believe that after this season, he will sign an entry-level contract and likely start next season playing with Grand Rapids in the AHL. But the Wings organization and their player development staff have said that they will surely give him a shot at the main roster and have been marveling already at how he seems to be one of the few guys that can be at that size and still play forward and maintain an elite level of skating and puck skills. Soderblom could end up being not only one of the biggest forwards in the league, but also one of, if not the biggest players in general, once Sedano Chara likely retires after this season. During the World Juniors tournament just a year or two ago, Soderblom showed his elite talent and skills, scoring two between-the-legs goals at the front of the net. And this, of course, spread all over the hockey world and had a lot of people finding out who this young man was. I can imagine how deadly the Red Wings power play could be in a few years with Soderblom in front of the net, Larkin and Raymond also in the mix, and Mo Sider at the point, and potentially even Simon Edvinson too, if he can bring his offensive game to the next level. It could end up becoming one of the top power plays in the league, no doubt about it. It'll be interesting to see if Soderblom can make the NHL squad at some point next season, and if not, how he will do at the AHL level. He's for sure a player that everyone in the organization is keeping their eye on, as well as most Detroit fans, I would assume. Make sure to let me know down in the comments whether or not you think Soderblom has the potential to be a star at the highest level. I certainly do. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel.